Hey everyone, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone that says SOS or SOS only. Now, this could be quite annoying and there's a couple reasons why you're seeing it. A few reasons why you're seeing it is that your phone might be out of your carrier range. There might be weak signal. Your carrier might have made an update or a software issue on your iPhone. We're going to go ahead and troubleshoot all those steps so you can go ahead and fix it. So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is pull down or pull up your control menu like this and then put your phone on airplane mode for about 15 seconds and what that does is shuts off the cellular signal currently and then after 15 seconds you're going to want to turn that setting back on that will do a refresh of your cellular signal and it could be simple as that where the SOS is gone now if you're still having the issue the next thing to do is following the step where you're going to Quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then finally hold on to the side button just like I am here again. You're just going to go ahead and quickly press and release the volume up, and then quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black. We're going to wait for the Apple logo to appear, and then we let go of that side button. And this is known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software and reloads the code. So if it's a software related, issue causing that phone to show SOS only, it will go ahead and fix that. And then once you're back on, go ahead and enter your passcode. And hopefully by now it's fixed. Now if it's still not fixed, the next thing to do is update your carrier setting. If there is, you're gonna to wanna to go into your setting on your iPhone, go to general, about, and you're gonna wait on this page for about 30 seconds or so. What happens is if there's an update available, a pop-up will come up with that says basically update carrier settings and you'll click on update settings and now if it doesn't after 30 seconds or so that's fine it means your phone's carrier setting is already up to date we can move on to the next troubleshooting step which is going to be to go ahead and make sure that now this is going to be for if you have a physical sim card like a phone that has a physical sim card which for the most phones in uh, us would be iphone 13 or older, it's gonna have a physical SIM card. We wanna go ahead and take that physical SIM card and reinsert it back. So you're gonna take a SIM ejector tool like this one that I have. If you don't have this one, you can also take a paper clip. Just gonna go ahead and pop your SIM card out like that. And then once you pop it out, here I don't have a SIM card, but then pop it right back in. And that will reinitialize the SIM card. So if the SIM related issue causing the phone not to uh, read that SIM card, it will go ahead and fix it for you. Now after you have done that, still not working, the next thing to do is go into your setting on your iPhone, click on cellular, and then for this option under cellular data, it's under this option here, you're going to see this option that has the option for data roaming. You want to turn the setting on. And now this is a setting you want to turn on if you're traveling, especially internationally. You need to have data roaming on in order for your cellular service to work correctly and moving back onto the next troubleshooting step you want to do is go into your setting on your iphone go to general then go all the way down here it says transfer reset iphone click on reset and you want to do a network reset basically a network reset will fix any network related issue it will not delete any of your personal data you're going to go ahead and enter that it will take about 30 seconds to a minute to do and then once you're back on, hopefully your phone is fixed. Now, if it's still not fixed, the next thing to do is go ahead and update your phone's iOS version by going to your settings and then simply going to general software update and check if there's an update available. If it is going to show up, you're just going to go ahead and click on update now to update your phone to the latest iOS version. And lastly, if none of these are working, you're still seeing that SOS, it most likely is on your carrier side of things that they need to Take a look at, in that case, you have to contact them and let them know you're getting SOS only and they can probably do a refresh or reconnect you and make sure your account is working the way it should if you need to reactivate your account. Whatever the case is, they can help you with that. And that's all the troubleshooting and your steps you'll need in order to fix SOS. I hope this video was helpful, so please consider a like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix it as well, leave it in the comment section for everyone uh, can see as well. We'll see you guys next time.